Hey guys, it's Austin from Turbo Lab. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some great H1C and H1E turbo upgrade options. So with the H1E, you could actually directly swap in an HX47 blade compressor wheel, 60 by 86. That's if you have the 60 by 83 H1E. However, what you do have to do is go back and take your H1E compressor plate and you have to machine this down and use a an HX35 HX40 thrust collar these are the kind of parts that you can get from me if you need them and then you have to machine this to an 86 or 87.2 millimeter for the 86 millimeter X deucer and that will directly fit on an H1E compressor housing that's a really easy upgrade for the H1E. For the H1C uh, and the H1E, you actually can go with several different compressor housing options it, or compressor wheel options if you're willing to machine the compressor housing or if you want us to do that for you. There's the HX40 60 by 86, which I mentioned earlier, which you can directly fit on the H1E if you machine the compressor plate and use an HX thrust collar and then uh, you could step up to a 62 by 86 wheel I actually had this wheel custom made it's based off the GTX 3582R design it's that we extended it to an 86 millimeter X deucer so that it would work great with an HX40 uh, upgrade which we can also throw it on the H1E or the H1C if you machine it for the thrust collar. So you have the 60 millimeter, the 62.35 millimeter. We have a 64 by uh, by 90, 64 by 90 by 94, and then we have a 67 by 89 by 95. Now, if you're familiar familiar with the HX35, HX40 upgrade options, these wheels are all HX35, HX40 upgrade options. But what, what makes the difference why we can make it work on an H1C or H1E is because we take the front plate and then we machine that down on the front here so that we can use the HX thrust collar, which basically what that does is it allows you to run the HX wheels because these wheels have a smaller super back height but um, once you use the HX thrust collar it puts it in the same position that the H1E uh, compressor wheel would be so to give you an idea how the H1E compressor wheel is the H1E compressor wheel is much shorter, but it has a taller thrust collar. So to reverse the process, we have the wheel that's much taller, and we use the HX35, HX40 thrust collar, which is much shorter, to restore the height. Okay, so I'll go ahead and show you ones that I did. Here's a 67 millimeter H1C that I upgraded. And it turned out really nice. So this is a machine service that I do offer. I just put this on CNC like a couple days ago. And uh, yeah, that's a 67 millimeter. And then I have a 60 millimeter that I did right here. Now there's two different 60 millimeter compressor wheels. One is uh, part number 4015, and that one's a drop-in HX40 wheel, so it'd be the same as the HX40 Super. And then there's a 4016 where the tip height is one millimeter taller. It's pretty close to the Pro wheel, but I don't think it's the same because recently I've uh, realized that I don't even think it's the same as in it seems like the tip height may be a little bit taller than the pro wheel. So 
anyway, the comparison to the 4015 and the 4016, the appearance actually looks the same. But the difference is the tip height is a little bit taller in the 4016. So if you can, or if you're going to machine the cover anyway, just go with the 4016 wheel. But the 4015 is the drop-in for the H1E. Okay, so uh, also for this one, the H1C, uh, I think this is the H, no, this is just the H1C. I was thinking it may be the H1CW, but this originally did not have this groove cut out for the anti-surge. Uh, I, I made a tool so that I can cut that out on my lathe so that I can restore the anti-surge groove. And that's just another thing that I could do with some of these turbos. Uh, <clears throat> to give you an idea of what combinations would work really well. So the H1C usually came with a, a 16 cm exhaust housing. So since it came with an exhaust housing that big, you can get away with using a much larger compressor wheel rather than like on an HX40 uh, with the 12 cm or something like that. So you could probably comfortably go up to the 64 millimeter compressor and still stay with the HX35 turbine. But if you can, and if you can afford to, just go ahead and go with a turbine upgrade. Like, uh, if you go with the 64 by 76 10 blade on the turbine, that would be a great option to convert an H1E or an H1C over to an HX40 Super. Keep in mind the HX40 Super is a 60 by 86 compressor wheel same thing as the HX47 blade, but the difference is that from factory they had it in a billet format, which actually weighed the same, but it was for durability. But uh, for the uh, turbine wheel, the HX40 Super, it has a, a 10 blade turbine rather than the 12 blade that came standard on the HX40s. Now also keep in mind that we can machine the turbine housings all the way up to a 67 millimeter turbine which was a really rare shaft on the H1Es. And uh, basically, well, we have that in 10 and 12 blade. I recommend the 12 blade if, you, if you're planning on using a 67 millimeter compressor wheel. So those are just some great options for you that maybe you never even thought about because there's not a lot of people that are upgrading these. But to keep in mind, this turbo is very unreliable unless you have the upgraded rebuild kit because the factory thrust bearing is really weak in these turbos. But with the upgraded rebuild kit, basically what it has is a HX35 thrust bearing design, HX40, HX35 thrust bearing design, which is really the most reliable thrust bearing out of any of the turbos that came factory and you never even needed an upgrade for that. So uh, I'll go ahead and link to all the parts that I just mentioned, including the upgrade rebuild kit, so that you can see the difference in the, the factory kit versus the, uh, the upgrade kit. So if you have any questions or you're looking for an upgrade like this, you can go ahead and contact us at TurboLabAmerica at Gmail. And uh, if you want to learn more about turbochargers, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel and just watch some of my videos. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope that you share it, and please subscribe to this channel.